Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminal Ollie, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, definitely horror, I'm doing a review of Poking Holes by Juan Valencia. So you may well know Juan as the host of the fantastic YouTube channel Played by Visions. So Played by Visions is a channel that specialises in horror fiction, transgressive fiction, disturbing books, that kind of thing. Uh, and it's no surprise then that Poking Holes is extremely dis disturbing uh, and very horrible. Um, so it's definitely a book uh, that comes with a warning. Um, I know a number of people who've read this book who were quite taken aback by how horrible it is at times. Um, it, it it really doesn't pull any punches at all, um, but it does that in a in a meaningful way. So you never feel like the uh, you know the violence and gore and destruction in these stories is gratuitous. Um, it's all done for a reason, um, and and it works very well as a collection as a result of that. Um, so there are nine stories, uh, nine stories in this collection, and they really do cover a, a range of things, both in terms of the the style that the stories are written in, um, and the subject matter. So Juan is, you know, a huge horror fan, and his love of the genre really shows through in this collection. Um, so there's, you know, there's body horror in here. There's the kind of like psychological, technological kind of horror that you get in shows like Black Mirror. Um, there's a story that feels quite Lovecraftian. Um, there's a story that feels a bit like a Shirley Jackson story. Um, so there's a real range of stuff in here. No two stories feel feel similar, to be honest with you. Um, and also in terms of the style of the writing, you know, some of the stories are written in a you know a fairly standard, straightforward sort of the way, uh, and some of them are more experimental. So there's one uh, which is a stream of consciousness story. So that's a story called User, which I think is probably my favourite story in the collection. So User is is a stream of consciousness story about a guy who is extremely messed up. Um, who is also the carer for his mother, who is bedridden. Um, and some very messed up stuff happens in that story. Uh, but it all feels credible um, because of the, the, the way that um, Juan manages to like pull you into the mind of the, of the central character. So this is a story that I think if it was done, if it had been told in the third person, would feel like um, that kind of cheap, nasty, extreme horror um, that you see, you know, kind of on, on Kindle Unlimited a lot. Um, whereas by making it a first person stream of consciousness story, it really feels like it has a lot more power um, and doesn't feel in any way gratuitous. So definitely an extreme story that comes with a lot of trigger warnings, um, but one that is told with um, a kind of sensitivity. And, and that is something that's common to all the stories um, in this collection. Um, you feel with a lot of the characters that... Um, you know, you really come to care about them in the story. And there may be very strange and weird things happening to them, um, but often they are characters that you end up connecting with in some way. And that makes the, you know, the horror all the more effective. And the other thing that makes this collection, I think, really great is there's, there's a central theme, at least it seems to me, that ties everything together. Um, and that is the abuse of power. So most of the stories in this collection um, are, you know, kind of revolve around, um, you know, that kind of power dynamic where the aggressor in the story is someone in a position of power. Um, and that could be, you know, a police officer or a parent um, or just someone who's in a respected position in society. So there's one, you know, really chilling story about a, uh, a kind of middle class retired couple who seem... Uh, incredibly normal and um, you know kind of respectable um, but are actually involved in some some really horrific stuff um, and yeah that that central theme um, really ties all of the stories together and gives this collection um, a lot more power than I think the stories would have had individually so you really feel like um, like one feels that kind of sympathy for um, for the people, you know, the people in society who are, for whatever reason, less advantaged. 
sorry, favourite stories for me were, I think, User, um, which is the one I've talked about, the, the kind of stream of consciousness, just really because I haven't read anything like it recently. Um, it's incredibly powerful and incredibly well done, despite being enormously troubling. I think it's the most difficult story in the, in the collection, um, but it works brilliantly the other one i thought was fantastic was a story called chatty chump uh, which is about a young girl who's got like a, an animatronic talking sloth toy um which um basically keeps on misbehaving so it keeps on doing things that she feels it shouldn't do and it's got that kind of real black mirror vibe to it but it ends up going to an incredibly dark place um, but you build up this sympathy for the, for the child as the story progresses, um, which makes the kind of revelations at the end even more uh, kind of upsetting, really. Um, so, yeah, another really strong story. And it's worth saying that short stories are not easy to write. So I think sometimes people think they're easy because they're short. Um, but there's actually a real skill to doing it and doing it well. Um, and Juan definitely shows that in this collection. So, you know, in each of these nine stories, he, pa he manages to pack in memorable events, um, you know, weird situations, characters that you, you feel like you get to know within a small number of pages, um, but also, you know, powerful messages about things like uh, abuse and racism and privilege um, that you that, that, that don't overwhelm the story. So often stories that have or even novels that have, you know, a kind of deeper meaning to them, it can feel sometimes that that overwhelms the story. Um, but in all of these stories, you still get that thrill of the you know of the horrific um you still get that um you know macabre invention inventiveness um but you also get left with a sense of something deeper you know so i definitely recommend this collection i thought it was very very good um but i recommend it um with that caution um, that some of these stories in fact most of these stories are very horrible indeed okay time for a random book from the shelves today's book is a hell of a woman by tim thompson so this is a 90s edition uh, from uh, Black Lizard. I do think these are absolutely fantastic, these editions. I think they've got the style of them um, absolutely perfect. And it's a fantastic book as well, albeit one I've not read for a while. So I do need to reread this. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you've read Juan's book and what you thought of it. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well out there. I hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.